Grant Thank McComey you. here with this week's edition of Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And we've come out to sea with one of the best fishermen I know to take our part in harvesting an abundance of coho salmon. We're gonna learn the tactics and the techniques this week. So stay right here. Roger, you're on a switch and answer 2-2. The fish are here, there's no doubt about it. Every place we went, we had a bite. There's an old fishing adage that goes, you should have been here yesterday. Right. Bring me luck. Three guys in the boat and we dumped them in and we were done in 35, 40 minutes. I mean, it was great fishing. But longtime fishing guy, John Crodhoffer says, today will be one of those days. There's a fish right there, there's a fish. John fishes the ocean each summer, but he hasn't seen anything like this month in a long time. That didn't take long. That wasn't even 30 seconds. We're five miles offshore in water less than 200 feet deep. A diver, a flasher, and herring on a barbless hook go out 12 poles behind the boat. It all adds up to one amazing ocean coho salmon fishery. There's another one. There's another one. It's a hatchery fish. Longtime partner Bert Hansen signed up to join us. Keep bringing, keep bringing, keep bringing. I got him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, job. Nice job, Bert. Well. Joe Watkins has joined us too, and right now he's got his hands full. Oh, another nice one. Kronhofer says it's been a remarkable turnaround for coho salmon, from a bust just two years ago to surplus this summer. We haven't had the water in 10 minutes, and we've had four, five bites. five bites. We get to keep three of these. John adds that the summer forecast for hatchery coho, we can tell the difference by the missing adipose fin that was clipped off at the hatchery, is like the good old days of 30 years ago. Well, they've given us a quota of 110,000 for the central part of the coast, and the way it's looking, they're, they're pretty much right on track. How Ten. would you gauge the angling effort right now? So it's not far. very heavy yet. Maybe 40 boats out of Tillamook today, if that many. Not, not that many, not for the number of fish that are around. It's a rare day off for Joe because he's usually found at the ODFW North Nehalem Hatchery where he manages production of baby fish like these young coho salmon. He says the baby fish left Oregon hatcheries in fine shape two years ago. A lot of dedicated workers and hatcheries and volunteers and, and paid staff. And also the natural production side is equally or, or highly more important uh, because what allows us to have large harvest quotas like we have this year is the abundance of wild fish that are produced in a natural environment. Goodbye. And that's where we're at this year. Both the wild fish and the hatchery fish had good survival and that's allowed us to do this. And this has been common. Double. Ah, 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 ah. Double. Two on at once, yes, 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 yes. Anglers two with two on, or three two coho on. on at the same time, and the fish are big. Right now, these fish are running seven, eight pounds, real good quality fish, and, and they're just gonna continue to grow, and I wouldn't expect in that latter part of the, the season, in late August, they'll probably be putting on a pound a week. Oh, now there is a cooler of fish. Yes. Absolutely. We want to get these fish harvested. I've heard you say that a number of times. We do want to get them harvested. Yes. <laughs> they were, they're here to be caught. That's get right. Up, get your head up, plane him right to the net. Right. Is that a beauty? Oh, that a is a beauty. That's that a, is a wonderful a looking coho. Hey, tell me the coho fishing out here in the ocean is going to continue well into August. We have a huge quota of fish just like this that are waiting for you to catch. You can find all the details, how to contact John here, as well as more information about coho fishing on the ocean on the Travel Oregon website. If you'd like to consider ocean coho salmon fishing as part of a unique outdoor adventure for a travel contest, check out the Oregon 150 Challenge. It offers a dream vacation somewhere in the state. You can find that information on the Travel Oregon website. Finally, Get out here and make your own outdoor fishing adventures come true and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.